so very center dot width and we want to do the same again so object height is equal to very center dot height so now we can do exactly the same thing we'll go ahead and alert out the object width and height and this will actually match 150 and 250 so we need to make sure that that, that happens because we need to be extremely accurate so again we can go ahead and say width x height x obviously go ahead and just replace these x variables with object width and object height so let's go ahead and refresh and you see we've got width 250 and height 150 which nicely matches this height 150 width 250 so we know that these values are accurate uh, we don't really have a way of testing that these values are accurate well we do but we're not going to do it uh, but we can just uh, you know assuming that we've grabbed the um, absolute height and width of this object which is the very center div we know that we've defined them uh, properties in here uh, so we know that width and height are working okay so now what we need to do is actually calculate uh, where we're going to place this div so the very center div needs to be placed in the very center of the window so what we want to do is we want to set the very center CSS and remember I said earlier we specified well we can specify top 200 pixels or 100 pixels or whatever um, in here but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set top to something here and then I'm gonna go ahead and set left to something here so we need to set the uh, top and the left to uh, the very center of the screen now we can't just go ahead and supply window width and window height divided by two which we would normally think uh, would work so let's just go ahead and try that so I'm going to say window width oh no this would be height because it's from the top height divided by two and the left we can say window width divided by two uh, let's just go and preview that uh, you can see that we're a bit off because we've divided the height and the width by two uh, so this corner here is half of the page width or the page height and this same corner is half of the page width but what we need to do is we need to subtract half of the value of the height and width of this object in order to place the middle of this div here at this point here and then it will be absolutely central so hopefully that makes sense um, hopefully I've explained it properly so for the window height we want to subtract object height divided by 2 and for the window width we want to subtract object width divided by 2 so now when we go ahead and we refresh you can see that's been placed in the middle because we've replaced this corner and we've subtracted half of this object so we now see that the object is in the very center of the screen now we only have one more problem and that is that when I go ahead and resize this it doesn't actually move because we've set a static value for the uh, height and the width of this object so what we want to do is we want to go ahead and first of all call this uh, function that will place it in the middle of the window but that we then want to create an event handler for window which is resize and this event handler or the function inside here that I'm just going to outline here uh, everything inside here will be will be called every time we go ahead and resize the window so for example if I was to say alert resize has taken place and I refresh and then I start you can see my cursors over here I start to drag it in resize has taken place and that's sort of like alerting all that out I'm going to drag it back again resize has taken place uh, so we know that every time we resize we have this alert box you know pop up however what we want to happen is move div and that's it because what's going to happen now is it's going to regain uh, or re-grab the window height and the um, the window width and the window height uh, the object width I guess isn't really important that could be moved outside of the function uh, however then we then we reassign the top and left values because we're calling this function every time we resize the window so now when we refresh and we go ahead and resize this value this top and this left value in CSS is constantly updated so we can you know move this around however we like uh, but it's staying in the center of the uh, of the window 
So just by using width and height and a little common sense with regards to these calculations, uh, we can set the CSS uh, top property and the CSS left property to these uh, values every time we resize uh, by just gaining the width and the height of the window as we actually resize the window. So again, quite a messy way of doing it. Uh, it would be better placed into a plugin uh, and then we could call the plugin on any object we wanted and we could use uh, this just like here or this like that, you know, instead of actually going ahead and using uh, the reference for very center. But you get the idea, if you know how to create a plugin, why not go ahead and try to place this into, or place this code or incorporate this code into a plugin. Uh, and it's quite a, a useful way uh, of centering things, uh, particularly if you're creating more of a dynamic site that you want something to stay in the center, uh, etc. So quite a useful uh, you know, piece of knowledge of how to center something exactly, and then resize it or replace it every time the window is resized.